Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux tool series. In this video, we're gonna discuss uh, some troubleshooting skills that you will face in the exam or in the real world also. So, what's regarding that? In the last video, we discussed how to permanently mount a file system or the partition, how can mount permanently. So, we are using the file called etc fs tab and I told you some glimpse of this topic I given in the last video only that what is maintenance mode and how maintenance mode occurs. So in this video, you see this topic from the fresh and uh, this, this video is dedicated to maintenance mode only. So let me give you again idea. So what is maintenance mode is, so when we are booting a file system, this is the file etcfs step that will boot a very first, okay. This will boot very first, okay. Now if some entry you don't done any entry intentionally wrong but let's say while doing an entry in your operating system while mounting a partition you have done some entry like I want to mount this partition on this mount point and want to mount with this format type let's say ext4 and with defaults more than 0 and 0 if you don't know about what I'm telling about this e entry if you don't know about etcfs step file you can watch my last video in that video I explain you every this field what every field means in the etcfs step you can go through that but yeah this video if let's say anything you have done wrong while doing an entry maybe partition name you have given wrong or while mounting point the path you have given wrong something like that so when you will reboot your system or when you will start your system again your system will goes into a maintenance mode now how to resolve that issue because it's very critical with respect to our CSA exam also in that exam you will get one question on mounting in a partition permanently and if you mount a partition if you want to mount the partition permanently you have to use a file called etcfs step and if you something done wrong in that exam and if you don't know this troubleshooting skill like how to resolve this you will lose 100% marks of yours because if the system will need not reboot again your reddit examiner will not able to check your what you have done so you will lose 100% exam now we will see how to resolve that issue the important according to rhcs also and which we will like in the real time in your projects or in your companies also it's important so let's move to the console again so i have done some entry and if you know uh, a little bit about etcfs step if you watch my last video those guys know for sure the 110 percent what is etcfs step and what we are doing in this but if you don't know what is etcfs step please watch out my last video then only come to this video because without knowing etcfs step you will not know what is maintenance mode and how to resolve that so here if you focus I have given this wrong partition name okay now if I use and save this file if I do mount hyphen a mount hyphen a will like uh, rebooting the system only so you will see here only it's giving me an error so we can resolve that error now only but let's say somebody don't like forget to mount hyphen a and directly rebooted system now what will happen let's see so I have rebooted my system now there are two ways basically you can use uh, to resolve the etcfs step or the maintenance mode issue the first way is let me tell you so the way first is when you are rebooting system your system will give you one console in the maintenance mode only in that console you can go to that etcfs step file by entering root user password and you can comment that line whatever the last entry you have done if you are not able to figure out what entry or what mistake I have done you can comment the last entry that you have done so and then reboot so once you reboot the system your system will reboot properly and after once uh, the system is again like come up again or back again you can check multiple things and do entry again okay do an entry again and then you can use mount hyphen a option to check in the system itself that i have done something wrong or not okay the second option is let's say you have wrote the sdb1 like i have done one one and you figure out by mistake that you have put two one instead of one single one okay so what you can do is same you can open that etc fs type fs step file in that console of maintenance mode you can go to that file you can edit the file and you if you figured out like this is a mistake i have done not only with respect to the partition let's say you have derived ext3 format type but you have formatted with ext4 then you can change this format type also or defaults if you wrote some 
spelling mistake in default you can change if you figure out like i have done spelling mistake then you can change default anything like uh, if you figure out you can edit the etcf step file and then reboot the system so these are the two ways now let's move to the console again what will be there so it will take some time to put us in the maintenance mode but uh, let's see how we can log into the maintenance mode how we can do an entry how we can reboot a system again so see if you see on the top welcome to the emergency mode and after login you can type this command to view some system logs that what you have done wrong but as of now i am giving my root password okay same you can give in the example in the real world see now i am logged in okay if you see the console got changed what i am doing is i am doing this file going to this file checking my last entry and i figured out oh by mistake i have given two extra ones at the place of one then i checked my mount point is correct only format type is correct spelling is correct everything is correct i save the file okay i save the file now what you have to do is you have to write system ctl reboot this command you have to write at the place of single reboot system ctl reboot so now we can see that uh, it's booting up again and let's see uh, whatever the changes we have done we have done it right or not the issue is resolved or not if the system is booted properly then issue is resolved if you are not able to figure out what is the issue you can comment that line where i changed you can comment the whole line itself and come to the os again then check various things like ext3 or ext4 what is the format type what is the mount pion path basically you can check the whole path you can check the partition name also multiple things you can do by commenting that line and yeah that's how we have to troubleshoot the issue of this maintenance mode and uh, let's let's wait for more 10 seconds and till the time if you like the video guys uh, please subscribe the channel share with the share with your channels and if you have any doubts you can reach out to me on linkedin or post your doubts on comment box also so yep let's see it's uh, booted up i guess uh, now if you did give me login screen again yep then it works if not then we will see how to resolve this because a very critical issue if you are giving an exam in the real world also some black screen come up now it will show me the usernames of mine through which i can uh, log into the system and use my system back the system is booted properly up but uh, i want to show you those names come up because see so yes if you like the video please subscribe the channel post your doubts in comment box or reach out to me on linkedin thanks for watching the video